Viduka, the hat trick hero. Well, no Mark Viduka now, but the Melbourne rivalry was no less intense. Let's join Paul Williams. Champions have lost Mark Viduka, Steve Horvat, and Krasimir Marusic from the side that beat all comers last season. Zoran Markovsky gets his chance in the first 11 as a sweeper, alongside Ante Kovacevic, another young player with high potential. Andrew Marth passed a fitness test yesterday after a recurrence of knee trouble in last week's Doherty Cup final. Frank Arok has used a clean broom over the winter with six established players, five of them internationals, leaving the club. This gives teenagers Con Anthopoulos, Sasha Nikolic and Tanzil Beza an opportunity to establish themselves at this level. Old hands Mike Peterson and Paul Trimboli, along with Alex Kuzmanovic, form an experienced backbone to this fresh-faced lineup. Tonight's referee is Eugene Brazale from Victoria. And it's South Melbourne who start their A-League season at Summer Street with a match against their old and fierce rivals, the Melbourne Knights. The Knights playing in their familiar red shirts from left to right. They're at full strength tonight for this match. They wear doubts over Marth and Tiato and Spiteri as well, but all players have taken the part. South Melbourne, of course, with this new look side that so much is expected of. Major blow for South Melbourne yesterday was the injury to Steve Panopoulos gained at training. He has a thigh strain. So Sasha Nikolic gets his big opportunity in the South Melbourne first team. Clever pass from him, Kuzmanovic leading the charge. Oh, and Trimboli, the ball fell very nicely for him. Demianos is wide on the right, Trimboli tries the shot. It didn't run through for Damianos, and he was in space and might have expected the pass there from Trimboli. Anthopoulos, tidy bit of reading of the play from him. Again, the play. Going on very quickly, Coveney chasing on this free kick from Peterson. But South Melbourne always prepared to take a quick free kick, especially where Mike Peterson is involved. Perhaps with such a young side on the park, they feel that they can play the game at real pace. Anthopoulos across. Australian international at under 20 level. Looking to really establish himself at National League level. Beza, tidy play. Trimboli looking for a quick ball wide to Demianos. Tiato on the break. Danny Tiato on the left foot. The first real opening of the match fell to Danny Tiato. It was a quick break. It was on his favourite left foot. And it just missed that left-hand post. As South Melbourne push out very quickly, looking for an offside. The flag stays down. And Kelich is the man back. Straight to Mark Silic. Chip to the far post. Anastasiadis comes and punches. And it's a fine punch. And it's found Trimboli in acres of space on this left-hand side. Coveney went wide on the left. Some attention for Vaughan Coveney from the Melbourne Knights supporters. Peterson switches the play. 
And Kelic with a touch that was not particularly adept. Oh, and Popolis with the touch, but Terry's in! Just over the crossbar from a man who's looked extremely dangerous in the opening 16 minutes. And Thopoulos just helped the ball on. Kuzmanovic came across. And it's been a fine opening here at Summer Street. This was the through ball. Spiteri there only had Anastasiadis to beat. He stuck out a toe and it was too much to get the ball under the crossbar. Triboli pushed in the back by Kovacevic. Really set himself up to achieve that aim as well. We've had just over 20 minutes gone here at Summer Street. It's still nil-nil. Kuzmanovic. Still Kuzmanovic. Beza with the cross. Haven't seen much of Tanzil Beza in the opening half. He was man of the match last week in the Doherty Cup final when these two sides met. And here's Tiato again, skipping past his man. The shot! Well, he missed a chance earlier when he went for the near post. This time he decided to try the far post. The result was still the same. But he's shown that he is capable of getting behind the defence, which is pleasing for the Knights. Again, it's taken quickly. Nikolic on the right-hand side. Chip to the far post, that's Kalic's territory. And again, the free kick going against the South Melbourne number 10. Much to his displeasure too, I might add. That's the Knights number 10 in possession, Lipsansky. Forward ball for Ponduyak. He tried to whip it across early. And his reward is a corner. For now gone at Summer Street. It's still Melbourne Knights nil, South Melbourne nil. <laughs> Kellich beat Mouth on this occasion. Billy Demianos, tidy ball from him down the line. Forward for Coveney. If he can reach it, which he has. Will be a throw into the Knights. Vaughan Coveney employed in a central midfield role, but he's expected to get forward on every opportunity. And opportunities have been few and far between for him tonight so far. Spateri, clever ball inside to Silic, who I think may have been a little surprised to receive that ball. Damianos, tidy play from him. Peterson, no one in space on the left-hand side. It's hit for Ivan Kalic, who's peeled away from his marker. Good shot across goal. Well, he was somewhat of a loner with that particular attack, so he went by himself. Peterson's pass was exquisite. A shot from Kelic. Well, didn't really trouble Frank Juric. A 
Koski with the long clearance. Nikolic coming across the park with his man, Denny Tiato. there from Spiteri for Lipsansky. There was a strong challenge in there from Peterson though, and Lipsansky and Peterson. A real confrontation there. They literally ran into each other, chest to chest, but it was right under the nose of the referee. They both have an opportunity to plead their case. They await the judge's decision. Eugene Brazale thinks nothing more of it. The play continues. Chip down the centre. Baza won it in the air and won it well. Found Trimboli. The ball's broken free to Comedy. Drop Kelly free. Ball Comedy! Well, a great chance for the former Melbourne Knights player. It really is his trademark, too, coming through the centre. He tried to place it inside that right hand post but instead it blazed over the bar. Kelic also touched it on, but it was the Knights who gained possession. Diamichis down the line. Too much weight on the pass for Lipsansky. And you can see by his hand motions there that there was not enough bend on the ball. Little back header. Anthopoulos bundled up the ball by Ponduyak, who started lively in the second half. Came off the shin of Mangos there, and it's a corner to the Melbourne Knights. Can this new look South Melbourne defence continue to keep the champions at bay? Well, if this man has anything to do with it, they certainly will. Silic with the corner. Anastasiadis comes. It's being lost. It's scrambling around there. And it's clacked away in the end. And the whistle didn't go. Lipsansky. Far post ball. Pondu yaks there. And they'll let off for South Melbourne. Anastasiadis didn't gather the ball. But South Melbourne breaking quickly with Trimboli. Demianos is going wide on the right. Kelic through the centre. Here's Demianos. Good ball to Trimboli. Try to curl it with the left foot. And at the end of the day, it wasn't a shot that threatened the goal. But they broke very quickly indeed, and it was a clever ball there from Demianos to find Trimboli. Clever ball inside to Fonduyak, and another corner to the home side. Champions will feel that they must score shortly to really assert some authority on this game. Anastasiadis comes and takes it. And takes a knock along the way as well. Can afford a smile. A 
wry smile at that. Mart, nice ball down the line. Pressure now coming from the South Melbourne team. And it was pressure that paid off too. They won possession nicely. Baser inside to Peterson. Takes the free kick quickly. Coveney, haven't seen a great deal of him in this match so far. Though one good run in the first half could have created a goal. Here's Demianos wide on the right-hand side. Little skip inside, Trimboli touch, Kelic. Trimboli, Nikolic, side And what a debut that would have made for Sasha Nikolic. And Demianos cut inside, Trimboli and Kelic combining set up Nikolic. But I feel that Juric had it covered. Silic now running at the defence. Peterson checked him back. And Silic was too quick for Mike Peterson. And another yellow card. And a fair decision too from the referee. Score in yellow cards at least is 3-3 so it's an even match whichever way you look at it taken quickly Silic that's at the back across the goal But it was by unconventional means, to say the least. Congratulations all round, but Silic must take a lot of the credit. The free kick was quickly taken, Martha crossed the goal, and Mangos passed his goalkeeper. No chance for the goalkeeper. Every chance now for the Knights to take the three points here. Kelic through the centre, Markovsky across to cover. And he's forced to concede the corner. Acknowledgement from Kelic there to Trimboli for that fine pass. Plenty forward for South Melbourne, plenty of height as well. Deep cross, Kelic again, so good in the air, Uris saves it. And I think it was Tanzel Beza, the youngster, who got the final head on goal. But Kelic out jumped three men there. Beza with a little touch, Uric with a little touch of his own. Deep one, the goalkeeper goes down. He went down because the challenge was illegal. <laughs> Faster damage, just spectacular, if not effective. I wonder what Mirko Basic thinks of that. He would like to see the clock run down a little quicker than it is currently. And Mangos can't complain. He had his arm right around Spiteri there. Instructions from Bath to Silic about the free kick. See if it pays off. A little chip. Pondoyak tried to flick it on. Silic will get there first. Oh, clever play from Silic as he gets away from Peterson. Still Silic. 
Terry across the goal. No one there for the Knights. And in the end, it was right through the centre for the Knights. But Terry with the final chance. On the left, Kuzmanovic joining in the attack. Coveney in some space. Demunos out wide. Coveney goes on his own. Long range shot. And Diamitris did well to turn away. And Savinsky caught in possession. Dangerous play there from David Savinsky. Really chancing his arm, especially at this stage of the game. And Kelic with a tackle from behind. It's desperation stuff from South Melbourne now. Around four minutes left on the clock. Another goal for the Knights would seal it. The cross comes over. It's Pateri. Fell conveniently at the end for Dean Anastasiadis, who wastes no time in getting the ball forward. Demianos. Away by Kovacevic. Vaughan Coveney beats one. Nikolic is outside it. Loses out to the second, though, when he had some opportunities to keep the ball moving. He's won the ball back to his credit. And now he's been fouled. Taken quickly again. Peterson in possession. Demianos wide on this right hand side. Faced by Diamichis. Mike Peterson. Trimboli. No way through as yet for South Melbourne. Mikulic. Peterson. Kasija. Well, it was a chance, you must admit. Perhaps not a great one. Everyone missed it. Kasija took the volley. Kelic is the obvious target. Coveney, is there something special left in this game for South Melbourne? And there's more answer. And the answer is no. It was always going to be a tight encounter between these two rivals. And that's exactly how it turned out. The final score here at Summer Street, the Melbourne Knights won, South Melbourne nil.